So this is what it looks like as you go north on the Death Plains River from the Sedge Meadow Launch. Under this bridge, you can see there are a lot of swallows flying around. And as we get closer, you will see there are quite a few nests under here. What looks like an innocent little strainer, naturally made by the river. In actuality, is a beaver dam. Exciting, I you know. Okay, so here's the other side of the beaver dam. And I can get my finger right there. You can see that really nice chewed up beaver log. Nice and close. You can see the water still drains through some of it, but it's got some good mud in there. Slow down that river to create a pond. A little habitat for the beaver. Nature's engineers. Beaver snack. Beaver track. So along the Dust Plains River, you'll find a lot of beaver lodges. Some of them built up above ground, like this one, that has a nice little slide trail to the left of it, and a nice little slide trail to the right of it. And on this little area of land, there's not just one beaver lodge, but it looks like there's more than one. So beaver get along around quite a, a lot, a lot using the Death Lanes River, and the other types of lodges they build are in the stream banks. So we'll see if we can find one of those. And besides the machinery sounds, there's the sound of a bullfrog. It's a very different view on the northern stretch of the Death Plains River. And sometime later in this series, we'll show you what the southern area of Death Plains River looks like. Okay, what looks like an ordinary hole in the riverbank is an entryway to an underground beaver lodge. So there's one opening and then under that pile stick is another opening. It's a pretty cool area. Just go right under that willow tree. Delicious. You can tell they like this area a lot. It's very well padded down. So this is the view that the beavers have from their beaver lodge. Got some yellow spatter dock right there. And a bullfrog neighbor. So anytime you go paddling, it's a good idea to check the weather. Not just once, but throughout the day. So today we looked at the weather and saw that it would be scattered showers. Scattered showers are fine. Thunderstorms, not so fine. So those are forecast later today and we will make sure we're off the river at that time. But in the summer, pop-up storms happen all the time, so it's important to know your route, where you can exit, um, how to safely protect yourself from lightning. Those, uh, those uh, you can find tips for on the National Weather Service website. But it's also good when you know how to read clouds and um, when the wind shifts and that kind of thing. Helpful tips keep you safe out on the water. Lightning can travel at least 10 miles and you will not be safe on the water. And um, make sure you stay safe. Because that's the most important thing besides having a great time and seeing some wonderful wildlife out here in the water.